far are you going? About 30 years. Can you put that on, please? Okay, well, you heard it here last. Um, anybody who could do simple math can figure out that this year is the 25th anniversary of the first Back to the Future. And I'm really excited about the re-release. Locally, the re-release will be playing at uh, the Burbank AMC. And they'll have two showings. One will be on Saturday, October 23rd. But a lot of us probably won't be able to make it because of the homecoming game. But I plan on going to the October 25th showing, which has been advertised as the day Marty goes back in time. And that should be pretty cool. So, what are your thoughts on Back to the Future, Walter? Be honest. I've never seen it before. Oh, wow. You've never seen Back to the Future. I've seen clips from either one, two, or three on TV. I just couldn't tell which was which. So... In about maybe like a minute, maybe 30 seconds or so, why don't you summarize it? Just from someone, a point of view of someone that hasn't seen it. Um, the, I don't even know the... Well, if you're new to Back to the Future like Walter is, all you really have to know is about a kid and he gets in a DeLorean because you can't go into back in time without going back in style. And, well, he meets his parents, right, in the 50s, and he's got to solve some problems that he himself caused just by going back in time. So, for the few of those people that have been, you know, living under a rock for how many every years and haven't seen Back to the Future, you should definitely go and check out the re-release because it's going to be remastered and it's going to look awesome. So, aside from movies that are more than a year old, we also had some movies come out last week and we're gonna have some come out this week and the movie that came out last week that um, got the most buzz besides Jackass 3D <laughs> was a Red and that's uh, based on a DC Comics graphic novel and Red stands for Retired Extremely Dangerous so um, the cast members are old I'm guessing yeah I'm retired. <laughs> well I mean you got um, Morgan Freeman and Bruce Willis and Helen Mirren. She was in The Queen and she played The Queen. So kind of get a feel of you know that. So, But that got um, mostly positive reviews. It actually got slightly better reviews than Jackass 3D. And the thing that troubles me, it only got slightly better reviews. But, um, and you know, I don't really have anything else to say about Jackass 3D except it's Jackass in 3D. And that's pretty self-explanatory, huh? I just wonder what they use the 3D for. Cause yeah, I heard some things. I... Yeah. No comment. But anyway... And then this week... Can you put that away, please? please. Why? What's wrong? Y you saw Paranormal 1, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, Paranormal Activity 2 is now going to focus on Katie's sister. Katie's... Th she had a sister? Uh-huh. Uh, when they were uh, talking to the psychic in, in the first one, she talked about how both her sister and herself uh, saw this dark entity in her room when they were, when they were small I mean, children catch that. Did they ever find out what happened to her? 
No. And I think we're going to find out in two. And I'm really, really stoked up for that. But enough about the silver screen. Let's see what's coming out for the small screen. How do we kill them? However you can. Another Predator movie? Yeah, this one sort of brought uh, the Predator franchise out of the slump it's been in for um, the past few years. Uh, Predator 2 was really bad. Um, and um, then, you know, Aliens vs. Predators uh, wasn't really that good. So now, finally, what someone should have done years ago is um, Robert Rodriguez has um, taken um, the Predator franchise and just moved it you know, back to Predators. And, and now, instead of the Predators landing here on Earth, now they they're sending humans well um the whole base is that humans now land on the predator planet so it's sort of this um the you know tables of turn kind of thing and um that's you know sort of revived the predator franchise and the other thing that came out on dvd was disney's oceans which is a documentary about oceans i i, I just heard about that right now Oh, well, it came out on Earth Day, you know, it was a big nature thing. And more people probably heard about the uh, Avatar DVD release than they did about this movie being released on Earth Day. And that's really all we have um, in terms of big DVD releases. So, don't forget to go see Back to the Future, especially you.